Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. if it's your first time here and I am an OBGYN resident. Um, if you are a subscriber, then welcome back. I am so happy to have you here. Today is <sighs> such an exciting day, you guys. So this has been about two and a half years in the making. I kid you not. So um, I'm going to give you a quick backstory and then we'll get to this video, which you, if you saw the title, then you know what, what I'm doing. Um, so about two and a half years ago, I started um, looking into actually buying my first designer purchase, whether it be a handbag or a pair of shoes or whatever it's, it was going to be. I had wanted this for basically all of my life, but I never thought it was something that was achievable. And once I started blogging and Instagramming and doing all those things that I started finding other income streams, I decided, you know, maybe if I just save everything that I received, like I used to do when I was younger, I used to save literally my pennies, my birthday money, everything that I received or found, I would save it. And then if I wanted to buy a cell phone, a watch, anything that I wanted, I would save up and buy it myself. Obviously, luxury items are incredibly expensive, so it wasn't like saving up, saving up $150. It was saving up over $1,000. And I was a medical student. I didn't really have a steady income, um, so I wasn't going to use my loan money for that, of course. I only used it for living and school purposes. But I saved everything else that came my way and I put it in a little fund and I had a little um, Excel chart where I would tally up how much I had. Um, so by the time I graduated med school, I had saved up enough to buy the Louis Vuitton favorite um, handbag and I was going to buy it after graduation. It was going to be my med school graduation present and I was so excited. But then we had to move to El Paso and that was a really expensive move. We, my husband didn't have a job right away and then I found out we didn't get paid until our first month was done. So we started July 1st and we wouldn't get paid until August 1st. So everything I had saved up for my handbag I had to use to survive because it's not, it's like, like a frivolous thing um, or I, I want to say it wasn't an essential thing, so I had to focus my priorities. I'm not someone who, you know, spends crazy amounts of money for no reason. Everything has to have a purpose, and I need to make sure that I have all my debt settled and that I am comfortable and that I am putting away savings, and after all that, the leftover income, then I can put away to do something like this. So we moved in June. Uh, 2018 and it took me a while to pay all the things that we had bought for the apartment because we did a lot of it on credit as well um, just to you know make sure that we could live um, in a comfortable way not comfortable like you know pouring out money but comfortable that we had a bed a living room we had food and things like that that's what I mean by comfortable that we were able to survive um, in, on a little bit of income. Once my husband got a job, everything started getting a little bit easier and all that, and then we're finally here. So about two weeks ago, I was looking through all of my expenses and I realized that I had paid off most of that debt and I had already made up what I had saved for that bag and more. And the Louis Vuitton favorite is currently out of stock. It's incredibly hard to get your hands on. So I looked at my handbag collection which has like three Michael Core bags. Yeah, three Michael Core bags, an Aldo bag, and a Toes bag, and that's pretty much it. Uh, some of those were gifts, so um, I decided that I was gonna get the Louis Vuitton corset, <laughs> and here she is, and I'm so excited to unbox her with you guys. So. Here's the bag in its little Louis Vuitton box. It came with this invitation for the new collection 
and the receipt that everybody shows. I don't know for what reason, but here's my Louis Vuitton bag and we'll unbox her together. So let's see how people do this. I've never done this before. So we're just gonna undo this little thing. Let's see what this says. Maybe it doesn't say anything. Oh, as if you want to give it as a gift. Never mind. It's a gift to myself for graduating med school, surviving intern year, passing step three, whatever you want to use to justify this purchase because it makes me happy. So we have the ribbon here and the box. <gasps> you guys, I just can't believe it. I, I'm serious. You have no idea how long I have waited for this moment. So here she is in the dust bag and I can touch her already. And ta-da. Oh my God. You guys, isn't she just perfect? Um, so I was reading into like how they line things up and this one's not lined perfectly. I ordered online so it's not like I can choose and it's like a hassle to give it back. But overall it's not that noticeable unless you look at it closely. In the front it's a little bit more noticeable but that's okay. And then she opens like this. And then the it has the rose ballerine aligning. Oh my god, this does not feel how I thought it would feel on the inside. Um, it has a little airbag that I was looking into uh, Mates for All and her video on the lessons that she learned from years of buying luxury pers uh, luxury things. And one of the things she was talking about was these little baggies to keep the shape instead of stuffing it with a bunch of things. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And then here is the Vachetta Vachetta um, crossbody strap. So I'm just going to... And there she is with her crossbody strap. Oh my god, she sits perfect you guys. So this is, just, sorry I'm not centralized. So there she is. She sits at a really nice height and it's perfect. This is exactly the kind of handbag that I literally all the time after I found my yellow Aldo handbag. So when I was deciding I was gonna give up waiting for the favorite, I was like looking to find something. I mean, I had it in my wish list, but I was looking for something that I knew I would use because it's the type of bag that I use all the time. So my two options were this and the Alma, but the Alma doesn't have a crossbody strap at all. It doesn't even have the, like where to put it. So I decided to go with this one that's designed to be a crossbody bag as well. So yeah. there she is, you guys. Thank you so much um, for unboxing my Louis Vuitton corset with me. Here she is. She is just perfect and beautiful, and I don't even know what I expected. I just didn't expect it to be so beautiful. And I am so happy to start wearing her. I'm so happy to start wearing her and, you know, enjoying her. And I don't know, that's it. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Remember to hit the little subscribe button with the notification bell if you haven't already. I would love to have you back. Hopefully I will continue to doing be doing videos um, about my Louis Vuitton corset. I'll review it once I've had it for a little bit. 
Um, I already have a, another few things on my wish list, but I have to pay this off first, um, or finish paying it off first. And yes, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, please feel free, free to follow me there. I'm always very active on Insta stories. You can follow me on a call and a bunch of other things. Um, and you will see first look the things that I get. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.